Hello, I am Nugrate, and this is a demonstration and overview of my pathfinding script for a destination. We will be going about 100 kilometers straight north, so somewhere in that neighborhood. So it's running. The red arrow you see that's immediately shown up here is the precise destination we're going to. The two arrows here you see, uh, the green and the yellow, are information displays basically. The green is the location of the closest examined point to the destination. The yellow is the point currently being examined. This pathfinding algorithm is running on a variant of the A star algorithm that I've coded for KOS. If you're unfamiliar with how this, how these algorithms work, um, look them up. There are better people than I to explain. Suffice to say, they, use, they score points along, or in the area around other points, and based on the points that have the lowest value score, uh, you build the path from those because based on how you score it is how you determine what is the best. Lower score is better. In my particular case, I'm examining uh, about six or seven different things. Um, the distance, the point is from the, from the target destination, so that's a bonus to help it go towards the target that goes down as it gets closer. Um, total length of the path, that goes up. I don't want to go the long way around the planet to get to my destination. But I also don't want to go the shortest path either, that's why I'm using a pathfinding algorithm. The other things that get evaluated are the slope of the point, um, how tilted is it. There's also a curvature evaluation. This is meant to keep it from, you know, hugging cliff edges and the like. There's also a change in grade. Um, so if the grade suddenly changes, either getting steeper or getting shallower, that's considered a bad thing because that represents, you know, kind of jumps or flat or moments where it flattens out potentially sharply, which can also damage rovers. So I score that and try and avoid them. So we'll let this run until it finishes calculating its path. I'll speed that up, um, and then I'll go over what the final few steps of the pathfinding algorithm. So now that the pathfinding itself is done, what's happening is the path is getting rendered for the consideration of the user. Um, this is just the initial rough path. There are a few follow-on smoothing passes that'll happen to take care of some of the jaggedy elements. You know, like, you know, here where there's this sharp 90 degree turn in this series of just jaggediness and that just makes it easier for the follow-on roving script to actually move along this path. So you can see it, you know, dodges craters and various other features as it goes along until it gets to its destination. So here's the smoothing. The commands are currently issued by just toggling RCS back on, because 
I haven't bothered setting up key detection, and you can already see uh, some of the jaggediness is less than it was, and that'll get better as the three or so smoothing passes occur. Once we have the path, we have the option to rove on it, but that's it for this video. Um, the next one will of course be the actual roving itself.